Hi everyone. Uh, two bits of good news. Uh, the first bit of good news is I'm with Hat. The second bit of good news is I've perfected a weight loss um, hypnotic technique, which I can share with you now in this video, that will mean that you'll lose weight for life, uh, have e more energy, feel better, and you'll be, you know, get in the best shape of your life. You ready? So look into my eyes, look into my eyes, look into my eyes, look into my eyes. Look into my eyes, look into my eyes. Stop eating bloody sugar. <laughs> well, anyway, so, right, now, next on my little product, product list is this, Weight Watchers Chocolate Flavour Whip. I don't know if I'm going to get sued for this. Anyway, right, so chocolate, uh, chocolate flavour whip. Now, first things first, I get it. I get why they do this, because it is a way, uh, this is one, two points. So this is a way of getting some uh, sweet food into your diet without your cravings, take away cravings away, yeah? So I get it, I understand that. And to be honest, there's nothing wrong with that. If you can have substitute foods that help you get over those sugar cravings, that's absolutely fine. There is a slight issue with this type of thing, though. Let me just explain. The main issue, if I'm honest, is it doesn't actually do anything. And what I mean by that is that, yes, okay, the point system is a good, it can be a good way of sort of measuring different types of foods. The challenge that you've got here is that that won't actually achieve anything. And the reason is, is because of the ingredients. So let's just rock you through the first two. Modified made starch or starch carbohydrate. The second one, glucose syrup solids. Now remember we talked about the glucose syrup being 170, well, no, 123, sorry, on the glycemic index. So that's going to, you know, increase the glycemic load of that, which is is not going to satisfy you. There's no fibre in it. Now that's the problem, you see. Because there's no fibre in this and it's very sugary, it won't actually achieve anything. So yes, it might give you a bit of a sweet kick, but it's not going to satisfy hunger and it's not going to satisfy you in any way possible. So you're not going to just want to want to... Normally, if you can eat just one, fine. But because of the nature of the ingredients of this, I mean, there's some very unusual things in here. Tetrasodium pyrophosphate, I mean vegetable oil, I mean come on. I mean so it's not healthy, but I don't really think it's going to achieve anything by eating something like that. I, I get the principle, I understand the principle, because it's allowing this, um, so each serving 46 calories, three and a half grams of sugar. So there's nearly a teaspoon of sugar in that packet alone. So you, do you see what I mean? Is, is it not better just to have an apple? <laughs> <laughs> you know, or or some berries, or, or or something like along those lines. So yeah, so I wouldn't really waste your money on it to be honest, because it's not going to achieve anything. But I understand it. So if you're having problems with sweet cravings, just eat more protein and vegetables. Get yourself fuller, fibrous, and you won't feel the need to eat anything like that. So uh, thanks for that. Uh, just remember, it's not personal. I know I'm losing a few fans recently. You wait till I've got in the future, but it's not personal, guys. I'm just trying to help. Have a great day. See you later.